Hey guys, it's me Edgar here to do my review on Invincible Iron Man issue 14 and this is where the Phantom um, comes in. Uh, it's a one-shot storyline where there's this guy who pretty much is a combination of the controller and the mummy and pretty much he attacks this uh, he attacks in Caribbean and pretty much damage a lot of people and then later on Tony leaves uh, after the hospital visiting the men that were attacked and he talks about all the things that uh, he's fought the Mandarin Titanium Man uh, everybody that he has fought over the years and it was really cool you get to see where does he go with his relationship with Janet and uh, we see Janet's core meeting up with Tony Stark and uh, pretty much long story short things didn't go so well Tony is still trying to find the Phantom and pretty much uh, Janet gets kidnapped and we find out that uh, it's the Phantom that kidnaps her. Therefore, Tony has to go find Janet and the Phantom. And yours truly freaking... They have a little bit of a fight. He reveals a little bit of his origin story and his motivations, which really don't give a shit about. Um, honestly, rereading it again, I kind of looked at it and I'm like, yeah, this guy's a very cartoony villain. Um... And pretty much he tried to push them into this pool, which is kind of ridiculous if you ask me. And then later on, uh, after Iron Man has their fight with him, it ends where nowhere he goes down underwater and that's really it. Which I honestly never really... Uh, care for this issue. I'm going to give this issue a solid 7 out of 10. And it's an okay issue. It's better than the fucking uh, controller storyline, but that's not saying much. Um, anywho, I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned on Invincible Iron Man issue 15 and 16 later on today or tomorrow. And yeah, later guys.